everyone, and welcome to our micro teaching assignment. My name is Tatum Castaneda, and um, the micro teaching assignment has been done by Katie, Caitlin, Chambers, Mallory, and Hannah. Today, we are going to be talking about or teaching our kids what is a mammal. Um, the lesson will be for first grade, and it will the take it covers is. 1.10a, which is investigate how the external characteristics of an animal are related to where it lives, how it moves, and what it eats. The content objective is students will be able to describe the characteristics of mammals by creating a book of mammal facts. And the language objective is students will be able to write complete sentences about mammal characteristics with the help of sentence starters and pictorial clues. All right, class, we are going to start today with me showing you five pictures of different animals. We're going to go on one by one, and you're going to tell me what animal it is. So our first animal, what do you see here in this picture? It's a monkey. A monkey, a monkey in a tree. A monkey in a tree. Very good. All right. So this next one, what do you see here? A horse. A horse, a brown horse. Mm -hmm. Does anyone see anything else? Or everyone see a horse? I see some trees. Some trees, oh, yeah. All right, what about here? Aww. It's a rabbit. A rabbit. A rabbit. It looks like a furry rabbit. A furry rabbit. Oh, what about right here? Ooh. It's a puppy. I have one of those at home. Oh, it's brown. Brown puppy. Is there any other names for a puppy that you know? A dog. A dog. Very good. And this last one, what do you see in this picture? That's a cat. That's a cat. All right. So these five pictures have something in common. They're known as mammals. Have you guys ever heard the word mammals before? Um, no, no, no. Well, today, whenever you're done with this lesson, you're going to have a better idea of what a mammal is. So these are all fall in a class or in the animal kingdom. So the animal kingdom is what it makes up all the animals in the whole wide world. And mammals are a class of animals, just like we're a class in this room. So all 24 of you make up this class and mammals make up their own class. So we are looking at these animals, and do you guys see any characteristics or anything that is similar when you look at these pictures that they have in common? Like for instance, you two have brown eyes, or you two have brown hair. So you have those in common. So when you look at these pictures, do you see anything similar or know anything about these animals that are similar? They all have legs. Or legs. Very good. They all have fur. Fur? And what's fur? Can you tell me a better idea of what fur is? Um, it's like hair on your body. Like hair on your body. Does anyone know what it does? Um, it keeps you warm. It keeps it keeps you warm. the animals warm. Yeah. At my house it sheds. It sheds. Very good. Any other ideas? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Some are small, but some are big. So they can How? be different sizes. Different sizes, that's a good one. How about where they live? Do you guys have any ideas about where they live? Mm -hmm. Or how they move? You guys kind of covered legs, so that covers that question. But how about where they live? Mm -hmm. Outside. Outside. That's a good one. Or what about where they breathe? What they breathe? They breathe air. Air. Do you know with what? Their nose. Their nose. Awesome. So you guys have a good idea so far of some things that these animals have in common. So we're going to watch a short clip of what a better idea of characteristics that define just mammals. Yay! Now that we have an understanding of what mammals are, let's watch a short video clip that explains all about mammals. Mammals. The diversity of mammals is amazing. They can be as huge as these whales or as tiny as this cute little balancing mouse. 
They can be noisy, like this howler monkey, or quiet, like this hedgehog with its sharp, pointy spines. Even though they're amazingly diverse, all mammals have a number of common characteristics you should know about, so you can recognize and differentiate them. All mammals are viviparous. They are born from their mother's womb. In their early stages of life, they feed on milk, which they get from their mother's breasts, where the mammary glands are. And that's why they're called mammals. And when they're little, they're so cute, aren't they? How are mammals born? From their mommies. That's right, Mallory. Good answer. Mammals reproduce by internal fertilization when a sperm cell and an egg join inside a female. As you can see, they have teeth inside their mouths and lips around them so they can eat and suck milk. Most mammals' bodies are covered with hair. What are most mammals covered with? Fur! Or hair! Great! That great answer, Tatum. They are covered with fur or hair. And all mammals breathe with their lungs. Even if they live in the sea. Look at these dolphins coming up to the surface for air. The body temperature of mammals doesn't depend on whether it's cold or hot outside because they can maintain their own internal temperature. Almost all mammals are terrestrial, like camels and jaguars. Some live in the sea and are called marine mammals, like these dolphins and these seals. There's even a flying mammal. Bats are the only mammal that flies. Does anyone know how mammals breathe? Uh, their lungs? Correct. Their Do you know? noses? Great answer, girls. Do you know which is the most wonderful mammal that lives on Earth? Human beings. People are mammals too. How mammals feed. Depending on what they eat, mammals can be classified into different groups. Herbivores only eat plants, and their teeth are especially designed for grinding. Horses, sheep, and llamas are herbivorous animals. Some very special herbivores are called ruminants. They swallow their food almost without chewing it, and some of it is digested normally, but some of it is stored in their stomach. And when they want to, they regurgitate it into their mouth to digest it again. Cows, giraffes and goats are ruminants. Carne means skin or meat in Latin. And that's what carnivores eat, the flesh of other animals. Their teeth are large and sharp for hunting and tearing at their food. Carnivores that eat insects and other invertebrates are called insectivores, like these anteaters. Omnivorous mammals feed on both meat and plants. Bears, monkeys and humans are omnivores. We can eat a tasty burger with lettuce. What are we considered? Um, people. Okay, what's another word for people? We are... Human beings. Or what else could we be? Mammals! We're mammals! mammals. Good job, guys. Now let's review the video one more time to make sure we understood everything. So, let's remember. Mammals are viviparous, and in the early stages of life, they feed on milk from their mother's breasts. They have lips and breathe with their lungs. Their body temperature does not depend on the environment they're in, and depending on their food sources, they may be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. 
Easy, right? So, goodbye for now, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Now that we watched the short video clip on mammals, I'm going to pass around a mammal book that Miss Caitlin and Hannah are going to explain. Okay, class. Now today we're going to be completing an activity in which I'll be finishing sentences based on mammal characteristics. Now we're going to look at our book, and it's called My Book of Mammal Facts. Before we start completing our sentences about the mammal characteristics, I want you all first to start out by writing your name in the front of the cover. Ma'am, do we need to write our first and last name? Yes. Please write your first and last name on the line that says bye. Okay. Okay, class, let's go ahead and turn to the first page of our book. And I'm going to go over the first three sentences with you, and then you guys are going to finish the book together as a group. So let's go ahead and look at the first page, and who can tell me what they see in this picture? There's a baby there's and a, a mommy. There's a baby and a mommy. What do you think they're doing? Playing. Um, I think the mommy wants to give the baby kisses. Give the baby kisses. You saw the hearts right yeah. there. Yeah. So could you say that the mommy is taking care of the baby? Yeah, that's what it's doing. So let's go ahead and look back at the sentence and it says mammals take. So let's go ahead and finish it and we'll say mammals take care of their babies. Okay. So go ahead and write that in there. Now let's turn to the second page. What do you see on the second page with the picture? There's a kid. There's a kid. Who can tell me what the kid is holding? Um, Do you guys know what that is? That's what mommy uses when I have a fever. When you have a fever? When I'm hot. When you're hot? So she's taking your temperature, right? Yeah, so temperature. This is what we call a thermometer. So this is a thermometer, and you guys said that your moms use it on you when you're hot and sick. Well, they use that to take uh, temperature to see if you're hot or if you're cold. And so, who can make a guess as to what you think this picture is talking about for mammals? Think back to the video that we just watched. Hmm. When it's talking about warm temperature. Ooh, it had something to do with blood. Hot blood. No. Warm blooded. Yes, exactly, Mallory. Mammals are warm blooded. So let's go ahead and write that on the sentence and finish the sentence. How do you spell that? How do you spell warm? Remember, she said you have to sound it out. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do the last page that I'm going to do with you guys. So who can tell me what this picture is of? X-ray. X-ray, that's good. Is that a unicorn? Is it a unicorn? No, I think it's a horse. Not the picture. Um, just like this one, but this one oh, is yeah. different. It's showing the bones inside the horse. So who can think back to the video? What did it say about mammals' bones? What is special about them? Started with a verb. Is it the word of our vocabulary? It is. Mammals are vertebrates. So that's what this one is going over. So go ahead and put it. You guys can look right here if you need to spell it. So mammals are vertebrates. Okay. And you guys need to finish the book as a group. Go ahead and do your think pair share with your partner at your table and then I'll come by to check it.